been a couple of weeks since I've done one of these. And the reason for that is it's been <sighs> very tumultuous. And that's one of the things that I felt to share today on the Solistic Life uh, series. I, I'm standing in front of the window here because <laughs> I think you can see it's very stormy outside today. The wind is swirling and the rain has been beating on these windows. And it feels very stormy in the world right now. Um, I woke up this morning with a tightness in my solar plexus and the energy has just been crazy today. Um, tech has been all over the place. Um, tempers <laughs> have been frayed. Emotions have been running high for a lot of people. And so the practice I wanted to talk about today is one that I've been drawing on all day today. And it's this idea of... As within, so without. Instead of choosing to look outside of myself, even at the weather, or the media weather, or the political weather, or the cosmic weather even, I'm choosing to look inside at my own weather. I've actually just recorded a really beautiful first episode of something that my co-writer and friend Lorna Howarth and I are going to be doing on a weekly basis called the Solistic Weather Report, <laughs> where we'll be taking the tempo of the weather that's happening environmentally, socially, energetically across the planet and applying the solistic practices to it. But for today, because our tech wasn't working, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about this idea of, of turning within the choice to look within yourself instead of without. And it would have been all too easy for me this morning to wake up and feel that broiling emotional weather inside of me and blame the media, the pandemic, work, the fact I'm half a world away from my husband most of the time, any number of things. <laughs> The US political situation right now, I mean, any number of things I could have blamed or ascribed as a nice, neat story as to why I was feeling this way. But actually, really, the storm is all about my own emotions, my own stories, my own inner weather. So as the wind is howling and as the rain is beating, I've been looking at my own weather today. And allowing that energy to move, breathing really deeply, making choices about the things I can control in the world. <sighs> and so for me, that's super empowering. You no, know, that's how I turn to my own wisdom, my own resources, my own ability to choose how I experience my life. And for me, that's truly solistic. <laughs> you know, that's empowering. That's whew, how we escape the story that's trying to be fed to us in the mainstream. So I'll feed that today. Explore your inner weather. Take a moment to be your own barometer and see what's going on inside you. And don't be so quick to blame the outer weather. <laughs> Because after all, as someone once said to me, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing choices. <laughs> so maybe for us, it's just bad story choices. See you next week.